there's an oral drug called sorafenib, which really is the backbone of therapy for patients with advanced liver cancer who really are not at that point eligible for surgery or liver transplantation. There's this potential of this drug in addition to doing what it is meant to do, which is to target the angiogenesis pathway. It may, in some patients, not all, have a beneficial immunomodulatory role. So by decreasing these checkpoint molecules on the T cells, it will allow the immune, endogenous immune system of the patient to be reinvigorated. But it also means that perhaps there may be a role for combination immunotherapy, meaning combination of sorafenib plus the checkpoint inhibitors to achieve even greater efficacy than sorafenib now has shown on its own. Now, if we can show that besides controlling angiogenesis, this drug has the potential to, by blocking this pathway, reinvigorate your own cells and allow you to mount a response that you were not previously able to do, an immune response that you were not previously able to do, or it opens a pathway for future investigations, future clinical trials, combining sorafenib with these checkpoint inhibitors and getting um, an added benefit. I definitely am very excited for the patient of what uh, these findings could mean and what these offer as hopes for additional uh, modality, combination modalities down the road.